If you have the new Chromecast with Google TV, there's a good chance you're not getting all the use out of this little remote because it can actually be the only remote you need in your living room as long as you have it set up the right way. And whether it's you get a new TV or you accidentally deleted it out of your settings or you just skip this during the setup process, you may be missing out on a key function that this remote can serve by being able to control the volume and the input and the power on your TV. So in any of those cases, let's go through the steps to show you how to get that set back up. Okay, so the first step is you're gonna to need to get to your settings menu. So if you get to the top up there, you get all the way to the right where your avatar is, click on settings, and then we're gonna go all the way down to remotes and accessories. At the very bottom of this one, we're gonna to go to set up remote buttons. And then we're gonna add a device here. Now you'll see a couple controls down here at the bottom with CEC. You can use that if your TV supports CEC, you'll have to go through some setup pieces on your television. But because this has an IR blaster, we highly recommend going with this route instead. You can also do AV receivers and sound bars, but for today we're dealing with the television setup. It's gonna ask you what your brand of television is, and obviously you can scroll this. It's got your more popular brands up top, but over here on the left, you can actually go in uh, alphabetical order and sort those. So for us, Samsung's right here at the top. We're gonna to click on Samsung. And this is really straightforward at this point. You're gonna set up the remote to control your device. So we're gonna start with volume. We click into volume, and we don't hear anything. Now we do. So we're gonna point the remote and make sure that the volume works. Did it work? Yes. So we click that, boom, check mark. Now we're gonna to go to power. So we're gonna click this. And again, it's gonna ask you to press this power button once, wait eight seconds, and then press it again. Okay, we've waited our eight seconds. Hit the power button again. And this bottom portion will go away here. This is just a Samsung TV thing. But we know that our power has worked now because we've powered off, we've powered back on. And did the power button work? We're gonna select yes, and we'll get another check mark. And finally, let's set up the input. We're gonna do that the same way, basically, as the power button worked. So it's gonna tell you, press the input button to switch through your inputs. And we gotta make sure it works. So we're gonna go over to HDMI one real quick. And that's a different Chromecast. And then we'll go back to HDMI two. And we're good to go. Did the input work? Yes, it did. And boom, just like that, you have three checks. Now your controller has the ability not to just get you around the Chromecast interface. You can turn your television on, you can adjust your volume, you can change your inputs, and you can turn the TV back off whenever you're finished up. And what I've found is that by using this remote, I rarely, if ever, have to pick up another remote control to do all the things I want to do when I want to sit down and watch television. So it's a great thing uh, to have around your living room. And if you, again, if you missed setting this up when you first set it up your Chromecast, uh, you know, go back through and take a few minutes, set this up. It's going to save you a lot of time and a lot of hassle in the future. But guys, that's it for this one. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Go down there and hit that subscribe button and make sure and ring the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.